Greetings everyone. I uh, wanted to show you my magical art bin full of my car design stuff. So this is one of those art bin fold out kind of things. You can get these just about any art store and it's got this magical tray with lots of magical things in it. So let's take a look uh, tray by tray here and I can show you what is in my goodie bag. So up here on the top I've got a lot of my initial sketching tools. Um, well, and some other stuff, which we'll get to later, but uh, mechanical pencil, just some pens, Sharpies. This isn't necessarily for car design stuff. So when I usually do car design, this uh, Bic pen right here is really the only thing that I start with. But I've got um, some other types of just cheap pens, but I just like the way that they uh, kind of lay down the ink, real simple. Uh, some Sharpies, just because you never know. And then uh, a couple nicer markers here. This is a Tria, and the Tria's got a, a thick point on it like that. And then it's on this side, it's got a broad point and then a super fine point like that. So I got one of those, one of these um, Prismacolor black markers. I usually try to keep a pretty new one of those in here along with that one. Then I've got my super, super fine uh, paintbrush, the one I use for the white highlights. And this is the paint I use for my white highlights. It's Winsor Newton gouache. And gouache is just a real, like, kind of white out looking white paint that you water down for those highlights. So uh, that's what that is, keep that up there. I mix it in this little tray. Here's a pencil sharpener for pencils, which I never use. Um, here's some kind of pencil. An eraser with no uh, eraser stuff in it. So, and I've got a couple different cute, bigger erasers here. This like clay needy eraser, and then this uh, Koei Noor that's imbibed with erasing fluid. Cool. Um, and then I have this Maryland Office of Tourism ruler, which I highly recommend if you get your hands on one. Second tray, we've got um, all colored pencils and some Weebrel pads, which we'll talk about in a second. But in here, I've got all my different. Um, colored pencils. That's what this whole tray is. Nothing fancy. It's just a deluxe set of uh, Prismacolor brand colored pencils. That is it. Now here's these Weebrel pads and I'm going to do another video just on these because a lot of you have been asking about them. Um, so what I did was I took the full Weebrel pad which is about this size and it looks like toilet paper for rich people but it's just a kind of like a cotton pad. And then uh, what I do when I... Uh, I don't need that many so I just... Um, if I'm doing a full render I just cut them into squares I just throw some squares in here to kind of have. This will last me for a couple a couple designs, so I kind of keep those tucked in there. Uh, then in this big area here, I'll show you what I got. I've got a Draftsman Mini Duster. Amazing! Um, it's for brushing off your picture, which sounds insane, but it's actually not. Then I've got some Prismacolor New Pastels. Um, this is what I use for the, this is when I talk about chalk for shading and, or color. This is what I use, and I've got a little uh, blade in there I use to shave it down. So I've got one thing of this standard set of regular old new pastel um, chalk, and then I've got this little box, which I just threw. I was at the art store, and I got some, some cool colors that I liked, uh, just different hard-to-find shades, same kind of stuff. So I got those in there, and then in the rest of here, it's just all my markers. I gotta tell you, some of these markers are 12 or 13 years old and they're still working just fine because they are Prismacolor, which is, it's an all right brand marker. It's good, it's dependable. It's not like the, the most expensive marker on the market. This is Tria um, by Pantone and these are a little more expensive, but um, you know, you can get, when I talk about the, the cool gray or the warm gray set too, you can get these packs that are just all different shades 50 shades of gray, if you will, um, and they just say here, warm gray, 90%, warm gray, 50%, 60%, and this is all what I like to use for um, bringing out the gradation uh, in the car and the shading and the tires and the road, using warm and cool grays for different things like the headlights or for the um, tires or windows. Um, that's It was really helpful if you get a warm gray and a cool gray set. It's 20 markers, it's not cheap, but um, hey, it's totally worth it. Everything else in here is all just um, either Prisma or Tria markers. 
Uh, I've got a bunch of different black ones and sometimes like I'll use the fine point end out first so I'll just put a piece of tape on it um, but the broad point end will still be working just fine so if you can see this here this is on the uh, Prisma that's a broad point there and then a fine point here and these last quite a long time so um, you'll go through the blacks and reds probably really fast but some of the other colors like um, apple green might take you quite a while and you can see this one's been gone for 12 years and it still isn't empty yet so either I don't draw enough green cars or Prismacolor is a pretty decent marker and I think it's the latter so that's what's in here in this bottom part is just tons and tons of markers um, this whole kit is kind of portable because I like to be able to just have all my stuff in one place but if you have a nice desk and you have actually room to spread out um, you can get a really cool like holder thing for these Prismas so you can have them all lined up and you look like just total rock star so you might want to consider that but anyway that is what is in oh look another sharpie this should go up front um, that is what is in my magical art bin um, I hope you have an art bin and you put all your stuff in it because it is great uh, it does not have fishing fishing tackle in it it holds art this is my old band DFWK if you were wondering Dental, floss, whiz, kids. You're welcome. Check out my next video. Bye.